All right. So we've went through mental preparations and all the uh, mental prep episodes, trying to get your brain uh, learning uh, how to uh, view itself and examine itself, as well as give yourself many reasonings and tools uh, to get yourself prepared for the 30-day period of uh, cold turkey quitting. Uh, The other thing that we want to go over now is physical preparation. So this is the physical prep episode. It's not as lengthy as the mental one because there's not a whole lot that you need to do. So here's a couple recommendations that I have for you. Uh, Leading up to your quit date, you need to empty, clean, and put away all your ashtrays. Get rid of them. Get rid of the cigarette butts. There should be absolutely no access to anything that can be used to supplement smoking. It needs to be gone. Uh, Or supplement the nicotine. It needs to be gone. No vape pens. Uh, Yeah, just, just get rid of it. Get it out of your sight. Uh, you need to live as if you're a non-smoker for these uh, these periods in time. Uh, I highly recommend that you go through all your clothing and your bedding and wash it. You may not smell the cigarette smoke on you now, but uh, after a couple weeks go by, you get your sense of smell and taste back, which is one of the things that return to you first when you hit smoking. One of the early health benefits it's really nice because food starts tasting so much better than you remember it that's a double-edged sword in itself uh if you try putting on one of your jackets that you smoked in you are gonna smell that after smoke smell that really nasty smell you know what i'm talking about uh so wash all your stuff wash it uh put some air freshener in your house uh, because even if you didn't smoke in your house there could be some smells of smoking uh your car is a big one. Talked about it in one of the earlier uh, prep episodes, but that is a huge uh, commitment to make because when you detail your car, it's not cheap to do so. And I mean, you you could do it the affordable way, but I recommend doing a really nice detail. You got a, a nice car, put some love into it, invest back into it, get it properly cleaned, and have it looking like brand new. It feels good. It makes you appreciate the car, it's respecting your car, and it is a monetary bet against your addiction and habit. It's you putting up money saying, I'm not going to waste this hundred some odd dollars. I'm not going to go this length to have my car detailed only to smoke in it. No, I'm going to do this and make my car ride sacred. There will be no smoking in my car, no exceptions. I can wait until I get out of my car to smoke. I recommend doing that particular physical preparation way before you even get to your quit date. Do it immediately. As soon as you get it in your head that you want to quit and you start thinking about when you want to quit and you're planning your quit date, go get your car handled and start cutting out that particular pairing and cut out as many pairings as you possibly can and uh, that's all gone over in our mental prep episodes uh, about pairing and trying to uh, be aware of your own pairings i'd start removing those the sooner the better Uh, it's going to make the the period of time where you're completely quitting cold turkey to not seem that traumatic to you uh and that's really it for the physical preparation. Remove, uh, remove lighters too. Uh, the more lighters you see, that could be an issue. So uh, pretty much anything that a smoker would have, get rid of it. You don't need it. You don't need it where we're going. Uh, and that's how you make a strong physical preparation commitment. And we'll see you on the next prep episode, which is actually going to be a personal uh, prep episode. It's a people prep episode, and we'll get more into that. Stay tuned.